frankly, Larry, I find you're making social engagements for Samantha and myself without consulting me in bad character. That's not bad character, it's my character. <laughs> Darren, this dinner is not social. It's a sugar-coated business appointment. A little food, a little booze, and a lot of business. But why Samantha? Mr. Durfee carefully pointed out that Mrs. Durfee wants to meet the wife of the man who's personally handling the account. I don't like the idea of Samantha being auditioned. Well, why not? Sam makes a great impression. I prefer doing business in a business environment. And I prefer doing business the way the client prefers it. Darren, call Sam and tell her to line up a babysitter. Sweetheart, I'm feeling fine. I was cutting some roses from the vine. <laughs> uh, sweetheart, we're very close to uh, landing the Durfee dog food account. In fact, Mr. and Mrs. Durfee have invited us and Larry out to dinner tomorrow night. Look, the door's open. Gladys, that's snooping. It is not. Uh, goodbye, sweetheart. I think I ought to put the flowers in some water. <laughs> There, you satisfied? She's calling the police to report you for illegal entry. <laughs> Our only choice is to apologize. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I know you're angry, but please give me a chance to tell you how sorry I am for my wife's stupidity. <laughs> Mrs. Kravitz is a frustrated international spy. An open door to her is like a bag of peanuts to an elephant. <laughs> I understand the psychology, and I accept your apology. Thank you. Uh, we came to ask you to sign this petition. It's to install a traffic light on our mutual corner. A traffic light is right, I'm sure. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You're talking in rhyme. Uh, what is it, some new kind of a parlor game? Yes, it's a parlor game, and it's the most. It's all the rage from coast to coast. <laughs> I never heard of it. Neither did I, but I'll give it a try. Oh, that rhymes. I did it. <laughs> For a beginner, you're a winner. Come on, Gladys, play the game. Or else, or else, or, or else of you, I'll be ashamed. <laughs> oh, Abner, stop it. Uh, Mrs. Stevens, may I have my petition? Mrs. Kravitz, I sincerely hope I didn't offend you, and for your good citizenship, I commend you. Abner, come. She wouldn't try it even once, because when it comes to thinking fast on her feet, she is a dunce. Oh. <laughs> Don't shove, my love. <laughs> Close call with Mrs. Kravitz. She came uninvited. One of her favorite habits. <laughs> Samantha, I'm sorry it took so long, but Dr. Bombay wasn't in Switzerland. He was mountain climbing in Tibet. <laughs> I told him you have a Venetian verbal virus, and he said this would knock it right out. Hello. Uh, yes, Larry. Change of plan. The Durfees are leaving town tomorrow, so our dinner party is for tonight. Tonight? Well, I can make it, but I'm not sure Sam can. Uh, she has uh, a little virus. <laughs> I know I didn't mention it to you at the office, but... Darren, don't make waves. I don't need to remind you that Durfee's dog food is a $2 million account. Give Sam a couple of aspirin, I'll pick you up at 7.30. <laughs> Change of plans. Our dinner with the client is tonight. Oh, Samantha can't go out tonight. She's ill. I'm hoping, boy, am I hoping she'll have a speedy recovery. <laughs>